So the last thing I'm going to attempt to do is to um, try and install a commercial game. Um, now this commercial game is called Factorio, but it has got a um, reasonably playable demo. Um, probably take about six to eight hours to play the demo, so it's a pretty good demo, but by no means is it um, any part of the complete game. It's like a small fraction of the complete game. Uh, so what I'll do if I get the browser back, I'll go to the website for Factorio and show you where to download it. So I so say this is a completely commercial uh, game, so it's not open source, so you would have to buy it if you wanted the full game. Um, but it's kind of relevant to Linux from scratch in that it consists of managing dependencies. So if you've not had enough of Linux from scratch, and you kind of want to feed your dependency um, needs, then this might be a, a game, if you're into playing games, that will fulfill that. So basically, um, the game, you can download it. There's a demo here. Uh, download for Linux. Uh, not actually sure why it's not coming. Oh yes, that's the paid for. So you'd have to have an account and have paid for it to download the stable. But this is the link where you can download the demo. For, so it's obviously recognised that I'm in Linux. You can see there's Windows and Apple versions as well. Um, this headless one here is a server you can run in Linux. So I've already downloaded this because it's about a gig and a half. It's quite a big um, file. So um, what I'll do is I'll put it into this directory here. And basically all you need to do, in fact, um, I should have left it. in the home directory to be quite honest because what we need to do is extract it. Now I've never tried this, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Um, so maybe there's still some dependencies this needs. Um, but I've never ever tried this on Linux from scratch or beyond Linux from scratch. So all I've got to go for with is, is the packages that we've installed. Um, I'm not even sure if there's any further information about what packages are required on the website. There may be. Um, don't know. So it looks like more to do is bugs and getting it through GOG or Steam. Um, but I thought this might be interesting to show. Um, as a way of showing how complete BLFS is. So I'll just wait for this ex to extract. As you can see, a lot of it is the multimedia element. Okay, so basically, if I cd into Factorio and then into bin and x64. There is the execu executable. Uh, you can see it's about 200 megabytes. Is that yeah? So all I need to do is to run that executable, and we'll see if it works. Yes, it is loading. So that's that's good. Uh, the first run it takes a while to load because it creates some files or compresses files. Um, but subsequent loads are, are a little bit faster. Okay, so there's the interface. Um, 
you only get these on the paid for the mods but if you go to single player new game and you can run the tutorial there's five elements to the tutorials five tutorials it's best to go through them in order and that's the start of the game so I'm quite pleased that works on Linux and Scratch without any extra libraries needed to be installed. Whether the libraries that are required for the game to run are part of the game, I don't know. Um, or whether um, just so happens that we've got enough installed. Uh, again, I don't know. But yeah, that's quite good that that runs. And this can be quite uh, an intensive, intensive game, both playing it and graphically and uh, CPU-wise as well. Um, initially, it's quite lightweight, but as you uh, get further into the game, it can be quite a uh, big game. So I'll just quit that, exit, and what's this come up here? Okay, it's just like a quit screen. So. That's it, so uh, thank you very much for watching the videos. Um, if you found them useful, despite the problems I've had, I appreciate a uh, thumbs up on the videos and subscribe to my channel uh, to, get, to hear about more exciting things that I'll be getting up to.